Hi, everyone. If you've done uh, used Patrick and for uh, creating genome groups and analyzing different data sets, you probably discovered that uh, downloading data in Patrick is pretty sweet. Let me show you an example of this. So organisms, I went to Brucella, I go into genomes, and I click on the filters, and I'm gonna do the public genomes at this point. So genomes that everybody has access to. And let's say I pick a couple of genomes, and I say when I download, and this is common, often people want uh, the FASTA formats. So I'm gonna download all of that. And it's gonna create a file, it takes a few minutes to do it. It's doing it right now. And if I go to my finder window and look at my downloads, You can see the most recent one, it's 1.4 megabytes, and that's my download file. If I click on that to unzip it, then I can unzip it and I can open it for each of these genomes. And that'll give me a pretty sweet, um, let me open it with, um, with text edit or something, if it'll give me that option. There we go. And that's a pretty nice way to get all your data and download it very easily. But there's a problem if I choose my private data. Once you get used to this and you like it so much, let's say that I just want private data. So I click on false. And these are, that means it's not accessible to the public. I'm logged in, this is my private data. And let's say I want something similar from these two genome sequences. So I go into download, I do more options, and I want the protein sequences here. You, there's a variety of sequences you could get. And I click download. And many of our users have been confused by this, and I've been confused by it myself. So I think everything's gone just fine. And I go to my finder window and look at the downloads again. And oh look, it's 22 bytes for that particular folder. That, what that's saying is it didn't download. You cannot download your private data this way, unfortunately. The developers have explained to me that they are in two separate places so that we keep your private data very secure. So there's only one way to get your private data in Patrick. So how do you do that? And this is something that people commonly ask us, so I thought it'd just be best to show you. Let's go to the jobs page. Click on that and it'll show me all the jobs I've done in Patrick. I do a lot of work in Patrick. But let's say I want to download annotation data. And let's say I want to do it for this particular genome, this one. So now once I've clicked on this row and highlighted it, you can see in the vertical green bar that it gives me possible downstream functions. Let's click on the view icon. This takes me to all the data that comes down with any genome that you annotate in Patrick. And look here, you can get the context, context, you can get an EMBL file, you can get all of the genes in um, DNA sequence or protein sequence or a table of all the features or a GenBank file or a JSON file. It's all here. If I want to download, different ones. I can do them one at a time or I can shift and get several. And then I can, well, I guess it's just one actually. So then I go into the download function and it's downloading. I go and I open that. There it is. So that's the way, unfortunately, um, when it's public data, you can download many genomes at the same time and get all the data. Private data, you're gonna to have to do it one at a time and you're gonna to have to go through the jobs page. 
and that's how you download data in Patrick for your private data. Thanks.